In Terraria, there are countless items to go after, but to get most of them, you will need specific resources, with some of them being pretty rare or hard to get in large amounts. Whether it's the Rod of Discord, Potions, Money, or another specific drop, there is almost always a farm someone has made, which makes the process of getting that item 10 times easier. That's why, in today's video, I'll be going over the best farms in Terraria as of 2023. Before jumping into this video, it's important to note that the farms I show off in this video can be done better, or even done entirely differently, like the money farm. But for this video, I wanted to keep all of the farms easy to build, without making the building process extremely long or complicated. Lastly, I will have timestamps in the description if you want to go to a specific farm in this video, like the Rod of Discord farm, or the AFK money one. With all that out of the way, let's begin. For our first set of farms, we will look at some smaller farms, but still end up being extremely useful. For our first farm, we have a jellyfish statue farm, which will allow you to get an infinite supply of glow sticks. And with the statues being relatively easy to get, you can make this farm decently early into the game. All you need for this farm is three jellyfish statues wired up to a timer, and either a minion to auto-kill them, or a pit of lava for them to fall into. Sticking with the statues, for our next farm, we have a slime statue farm, which allows you to farm the 1 in 10,000 slime staff drop, along with gel you can use for potions and building blocks. Making a slime statue farm is the same as the jelly farm, with you needing three slime statues hooked up to a timer, and something that will auto-kill them like lava. Lastly, instead of using platforms in your builds and arenas, use planter boxes, as they will give you an easy supply of useful herbs, and they still work like normal platforms where you can jump through them. These are the only small farms we will look at in this video, but that doesn't mean there aren't other good ones out there. So, let me know in the comments if you know of any other easy-to-build useful farms. Next, let's take a look at the Rod of Discord farm. If you don't know what the Rod of Discord does, it will allow you to teleport wherever you click, which seems great, until you realize you only have a 1 in 400 chance to get it as a drop, which is where this farm comes in. Before starting this, it's important to note that although this will work on any world, you will get better drop rates on the Celebration Secret Seed, so it might be better to make the farm there. The first thing you'll want to do is go into the Cavern Lair, and clear out an area that is 100 blocks high, and then 175 blocks across. Next, you will want to fill in any holes that are around your hole with any block, which stops some of the extra enemies from spawning. After that, you will want to make a row of pearl stone going all the way across the arena, with the line going across the middle of the box and not the top or bottom. It's also important that you use pearl stone and not any other blocks, as that is what chaos elementals will spawn on. Once you have your line of pearl stone made, then it's time to head over to the middle of that line and start building the actual farm. Head over towards the middle of the line of Pearlstone and make a box under it, which uses a trap door or teleporter to get into. After that, you will want to make this slope structure I have on screen now, which is 5 blocks high and has the smallest amount of lava possible. Next, you will want to go to the box under the lava pit and make a second floor with solid blocks surrounding you completely. Next, you will want to add a campfire and heart lantern near you, which will increase your health regeneration. And lastly, to make the Chaos Elemental spawn, you will need to be moving in some way. So, you can either use a flying mount, since that counts as constantly moving, or by using the frog and having something hold down your jump button, so you will endlessly jump. While that is the basic structure of the farm, there are a few enemies which will for sure kill you if all you do is AFK. So, I'd suggest making a bet there, so you can set your spawn at the farm. And before closing out on this farm, there is a lot more for you to add to your farm, which helps out spawns, regeneration, and much more. But to keep this video short and not make this farm any more complicated, we'll stop it here. For our next farm, let's take a look at a money farm. While there are many different money farms in Terraria, I think the one that's the easiest to build while also still producing an amazing amount of money is an ocean money farm. To make this, you will first want to head out to one of your oceans, and then cover the ocean's floor in mud blocks with jungle seeds planted on them. Next, head over to close to the edge of your world and build a small mud block box that is one block above the water and also has jungle seeds planted all over it. Next, you will want to build a hole in those mud blocks that is four blocks down and four blocks wide. Next, under that hole you just made, you will want to make another hole that is six blocks wide and four blocks down with platforms going across it. After that, you will want to add slopes on both sides of the pit, with each of the outer blocks being smoothed out with an X. Lastly, break the left and right block in the first hole you made, and use an X to smooth out the remaining two blocks. At this point, you will want to equip the lucky coin, so you earn money each time an enemy is hit, and the slime staff, since it can't move away fast and doesn't deal a lot of damage. 
Once you have those items, it's just sitting in the top hole and letting your slime take care of the hard work. Just like the Rod of Discord farm, there is a lot more you can add to make it produce more money, and a lot more money farms out there that can produce a lot more. But I think the one I covered in this video is the best one for how much money it makes you while also not being overly complicated to make. Next, let's take a look at an invasion farm. Just like the name suggests, this is a farm used for the different invasions that can happen in Terraria. And there are a number of different versions of them that have been made over the years. For the one I'll be showing in this video, you will first want to dig out a pit that is 10 blocks deep and 20 blocks wide. After that, you will want to dig out at least a 3 block wide area going around that big hole, which is where you will be during the invasions. After building my way in, I like to add a campfire, heart lantern, and some heart statues in the safe area for their buffs. You can also add a small layer of honey here, but you may want to avoid this as it can slow you down. Finally, you add a small layer of lava in the original hole you made, which is where all of the enemies will fall. Depending on the situation, you may not want to use the lava to deal with enemies, which is why I like to make a hole on the left and right side of the pit, so you can shoot at them while staying in a safe area. Overall, this farm is always extremely useful to have, and while there are a lot of variations of this farm and much more you can do, I'll leave it at that for time's sake. Up next, we have the Gem Critter Farm, and with the last Terraria update we got, this farm became a lot easier to make. Gems are used in a lot of crafting recipes, and can sell for a decent amount of money as well, but you need gem critters for them, which is why making one of these farms can be pretty useful. To start building this farm, you will first need to make two houses with NPCs in each, somewhere in the cavern lair. Next, you will want to clear out the stone around you enough for a tree to grow, and then start planting the gem acorns. You will need the NPCs and gem trees for this farm, as those are the requirements for the gem critters to start spawning. But once you have it set up, you should start seeing them spawn very often, and all you have to do is catch them using a net. There is also a lot more you can add to this farm, just like the others in the video, like a system that automatically brings the critters to you. But for time's sake, and to avoid making this complicated, I again will leave it at this. For our last section in this video, I'm gonna go cover some farms that aren't exactly useful outside of specific situations, but they are still extremely useful to know about. For our first farm in this section, we have a truffle worm farm, which, just like it sounds, makes the usually hard process of finding truffle worms for Duke Fishron way easier. To make this farm, you will first want to make or find an underground mushroom biome, then clear out a large chunk of it. At this point, you will want to make dirt block platforms that you can walk on, and make sure you also have some invisible potions, golden net, and something to scan for rare enemies, like the life analyzer. Once you have your mushroom biome set up correctly, it's just sitting and waiting until you see a worm appear. For our next farm, we have a sand farm, which you can, or rather do, easily using antlions, since they will shoot sand out at you infinitely. People have made very insane sand farms, and with you being able to farm antlions without building a farm, I won't cover it here. But I will leave a link in the description to a very well-built, complicated sand farm for all of your sand needs. After that, we have a gnome farm, which really has no use at all, so I won't be covering how to make it either, but know that it does exist! That brings an end to this video. While I did keep the farms in this video simple, I do plan on making more in-depth videos going over specific ones, like money and rod of discord farms. But to avoid making the farms in this video overly complicated, I only had the simple ones in this video. If you made it this far into the video, let me know by commenting gem farm, and let me know if you use any farms I didn't feature in this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Terraria videos like this in the future, and as always, make sure to have a wonderful day.